got it. Well, first of all, thanks guys for uh, coming out and all that stuff. It's, it's really cool to do all of this stuff and we're going to get together. And you asked me how I got the cash? Is that correct? Um, Melanie got a hold of me. Uh, one of the things I just never got into the internet because time, time is so precious. You know, I don't watch TV or nothing like that. And uh, but she, then, you know, I, I uh, threw some stuff I got on the internet and she got a hold of me and so on and so forth to, uh, to do that. So that's how that all ended up, you know. Went ahead and did. And Melanie, this is your first piece that you've ever made? This is my very first piece, and we are working on a prequel right now, and Two Rivers is a trilogy, so we are going to be very busy for the next few years. And I would like to say that I'm very grateful for everything that happened, has happened um, uh, to me, for me, and for this movie, and I'm also very grateful to find Mr. Nate Haven, a very talented a cinematographer, Nate, I don't know where you are sitting yeah. right now, but I would like to say that I am very grateful um, to you, Nate. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm the luckiest girl. Thank you. And I don't know if you guys realize this or not, but in the booklet, this is the world premiere of Two Rivers. You just witnessed it. You were here. Yes. Um, Jason wants to talk to you a little bit about Two the Films that are. The, uh, Unfortunately, the only two filmmakers for this session not representing a piece is the music video from uh, Jesse Thomas and uh, the song Lorraine. Um, actually, I had a chance to become acquainted with that filmmaker and that director um, was uh, Mindy or Melinda Steffen, and she was um, here last year, and she was part of a piece called The Platonic Solid, a beautiful little short, um, quite a very talented young lady as far as a filmmaker goes. Um, proud of Wisconsinite, and, and Jesse's just a friend of hers, musician, and she said it was herself, her cinematographer, and the musician drove out one afternoon, found the location that they wanted to go to, um, and uh, that it just shot. And then as far as the, uh, um, for the love of the game, um, <laughs> Catherine also, proud of Wisconsinite, loves beer, she actually created a trilogy of dating movies, and then she had one called Too Much Clay Matthews, which we didn't end up accepting, but she put this together, and it was actually done, obviously, during the most recent Packer season, and uh, just uh, proud of where she comes from, and, and uh, loves it, and is now making her uh, her living every day out, out in uh, LA, and wish she could be back here, but uh, just wasn't able to make it back. So. Does anyone have any particular questions out there? I see one right in front. Two Rivers. How'd you get that big guy in the suitcase? Yeah. <laughs> How'd you get that big guy in the suitcase? How'd you get him in the suitcase? <laughs> well, she cut blunder. him up. Did you notice that there was a cleaver on the camera? So that's how I got that. <laughs> Back in the back there. For two rivers. So I think sometimes black and white can be kind of gimmicky when it's used today, but it felt so fitting and appropriate for the film and it was enhanced by the composition and the score. So I just kind of wanted to know when that decision was made to film it or to produce it in black and white and what were the steps that led up to that? The decision was made from the beginning. When I was writing the script, I knew that it would be in, in black and white. Uh, I'm sorry, what was the other question? Oh, no, it's essentially like, was it your love of Hitchcock that kind of pushed you to do it yes. in black and white? Yes, Hitchcock oh. rules. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Legitimately walk. <laughs> not being morally overbearing. It's just 
I just that's just the way it's done. So yeah, the squaring too. I don't even square it, you know, and put out the whole script. He's a much sweeter guy than he was portrayed. Yes, he is. He is. I mean, he. Why did I pick Mark? Mark was, he just had that perfect look. I was looking for the perfect dirt. And when I saw the, the movie, American movie, I thought, this is, this is the guy. How am I going to get a hold of this guy? And one night I couldn't sleep. I was on the internet searching and I found the contact information for Mark and I didn't know whether that was for real. I emailed him and he called me the following day and here we are. But yeah, he had that look, very dangerous, very intense, very intimidating. But when I saw him, it was the sweetest thing. Do you have any other people in the audience with, with the film? Hey, those, those guys, the girls, 10 hours. Yes, Heidi, 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 Hi. Heidi, Hi. Joe, all the way from Pennsylvania, Mark, and Heidi. I for the film, for the film, I just cannot believe it. Um, <laughs> Heidi and I, uh, actually, I sent Heidi the link to one uh, confess. Actually, no, 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 um, the Shepard Express article because Heidi is a big fan of Mark Forster, so I sent her the link. And Heidi's a big fan of life. She does a really, really good attitude. And her best friend Mark is. Really, really good at it. Yes. Gave them the ability, the dexterity to drive all the way from there to here. Thank you. And Jerome Bowman, he helped us with the, the suitcase scene. He almost broke his leg. His leg went through the hatch. He's here today with a big scar to prove. <laughs> And um, Jerry, Jerry Burkhardt is the um, yeah. actress, and she's one of the actors in the first uh, scene. Jerry Burkhardt is also here, all my friends, um, we're in a theater group together, so they have been a tremendous help, and uh, they will be in my other films. Outstanding. Um, we're going to have to wrap up here really quickly. These, these filmmakers will be on hand for you guys to ask questions to, but on, uh, I know that this is going to great Jason and Tom. I want you guys to quickly tell us what's next for you. What are you guys working on? What is next for the filmmakers? And you guys can even say something too, quickly. What's next? We, we are working, I just finished um, the, uh, the script of the people, um, How Dirk and Emma Met. So it's going to be another psychological thriller. Yes, it will be um, influenced by Hitchcock. And they will always be influenced by Hitchcock um, because they're very really gone. Okay? So they will always be dark. Um, why? I don't know, I was just born that way. <laughs> um, and so we are hoping to film in a fall this year. Yes. Um, currently working on a variety of things, one of which is also working with this guy here, um, a, uh, a web series. Um, it's called Superman's Pal, Jimmy Olsen. You can check it out. But we're working on that now. But it's a kind of a parody thing. I'm not going to go into it too much. But so comedy stuff. Yeah. Uh, ditto to that. And then uh, <laughs> trying to write up a script right now. That is, uh, I tried to like pick a theme for a script for me. So I'm trying to write one centered around a brewery next. It's just a weird thing that's in the back of my head right now. So frozen stage films created seen in the threading, and right now there is a couple of shorts that are in post-production. Um, one is That Time You and I, which uh, is, a, is different than, than a stain. It's uh, two girls um, and a ruckus that occurs when the cat gets out of the house. <laughs> um, it was set in a little bit of a warmer climate, um, and uh, it's very funny. And if you want to learn more about Frozen Stage films and films that um, are affiliated with myself or Francisco Torres, you can go to Facebook, you can go to Twitter, or uh, frozenstagefilms.com. Um, staying in the threading feels like a piece of something to me. Is there a larger image in mind after that is finished? Or? Yeah, um, well, it, it is. It, it's like most short films, um, we always hope to do something bigger with it. Um, there is a couple of things feature-wise coming up uh, that we will be 
wanting to do some fundraising for and um, any talents of sorts, we will be welcoming them because um, right now Frozen Stage Films is kind of a baby and it's growing into its teenage years and we're excited about it. Um, so yeah, I mean, you'll be able to find all of that information with the website and um, you can contact myself too. I'm an actress and makeup artist in town. I live in Madison and um, I'm just Simone L on Facebook, so. <laughs> Well, I've been doing an awful lot of filming behind the scenes of the craft beer industry, but I think I'm going to move on from that and get back to my roots and then go do some animations and maybe one of these days get linked up with this Craig Kinnett and do a project together. Yeah, well, we need to. We definitely need to rub her. Um, right now, I'm working on like filming a, something for a college course right now, but I also want to start a script that will probably end up being feature length that's kind of set in the same universe as uh, Connor's Journal, maybe sequel-ish, but uh, just something longer length, kind of expanding on that. Guys and gals, um, thank you very much. Thank you so much for being Thank you so much for Louise. I'm going to ask the filmmakers to go out the side door at this time. Yeah. All right, another round of applause for the filmmakers. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.